This man, Tomas Mendoza, was arrested for the murder of the patrolman. He was tried, convicted, and sentenced to prison for life. But was he guilty? He swore he was not. For four years, he protested his innocence. His appeals did no good. He exhausted all legal remedies. And then he found a final hope. Its board of investigators, a group of seven men, experts in law and criminology, bound together in their dedication to improving the administration of justice. You'd read the signal coverage. The police were the same old selves, barking up empty trees, running down blind alleys. And then you suggested it would be better if they find a man to pin it on. No, oh, now look, Mr. Larson. Let's not be naive. Investigation reports filed by the detectives and patrolmen working on the case. According to this, the entire department was concentrating on tracking down Rodriguez. They thought they had him on Saturday, but he slipped through their fingers. So, on Sunday, they started grilling Mendoza. Might be connected. There was plenty of pressure on them. <laughs> yeah, there certainly was. So they found themselves a scapegoat. I didn't lie. Now, you get out of here, mister. It was that little wetback we done it. I won't change nothing. Now, get out of here. Thank you very much, Mr. Brower. One of you might have picked him up on Route 34A on the night of the murder. That'll be this man's alibi. Nope. Never seen the guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Osborne. I wish I could help. That's the man over there. Can you remember ever having seen him? Sorry. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry, Mr. Osborne. I wish I could help. 